Welcome to another fabulous week of social studies in grade one. Today we will be discussing the lesson and materials for the week of May 4th. My name is Mr. Crispins and I'll be your teacher for the next few minutes. In preparation for our work today, please make sure you have your remote learning packet and you have found the social studies lesson for the week of May 4th. Let's get started. On the top of your lesson, you should see our objective for today. Today, we will examine the contributions of people, past and present, in order to describe why the United States honors different individuals through various holidays. Let's break down our objective a bit. Today, we are going to examine the contribution of people, past and present. Hmm, what does it mean to examine a contribution? We can use our handy dandy vocabulary card for contributions. Contributions are what someone gives. And down here in the picture, we have money going into a piggy bank. Contributions don't have to just be money. It can be someone's love, time, energy, or knowledge that can help us. Today, we will think about what individuals have given or done for us in the past. We will describe or write about why the United States honors or celebrates different individuals on different holidays. So, today we are going to examine and look at different individuals and what they have given or done for us in the past. Then, we're going to write about why the United States celebrates each of those people on different holidays. Okay, so let's get started today and what we're going to start with is some money. So on your screen, you'll see a $1 bill and a $5 bill. Uh, you'll notice that I can see the one in the corner of each bill or the five in the corner of each bill. And what I'd like to do is just think about who is on the one and $5 bill and why do we think their picture is there? And to do this, I think I'm gonna go try and get some, a little bit of help. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Crispins. And for today's lesson in first grade social studies, I'm gonna see if I can't get my son Matthew to help us out. Let's go see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. Hey, Matthew. Hi, Dad. How are you? Good. What are you working on? Dreambox. Dreambox. What's Dreambox about? Um, it just you have to do some um, math lessons to earn like coins, like and upgrade to levels. Oh, that's cool. Can you help me with something today? Sure. Uh, so I have this money down here. And I was curious to know, and here's here's what Matt's looking at. Do you know who this guy is? Yes, that's George Washington. That's George Washington. And uh, do you know who's on the $5 bill? Abraham Lincoln. Now, why are they on money? Because they're special. Why would they be special? So special that they get to be on money? Because they did special things in life to help us be, to do better things for us. Matthew did a great job helping us today as we examined a one and five dollar bill. And he was absolutely right. George Washington and Abraham Lincoln are both very special. In fact, they were two of our presidents. George Washington, who was on the one dollar bill, was our very first president. And Abraham Lincoln, on the five dollar bill, was our 16th president. Now, you may be thinking, is every picture on money that of a president? And I can share with you, no. Not everyone who appears on money was president. It's a pretty cool fact. But did you know we honor past presidents in many, many different ways? The picture in the middle of the screen is of Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is a mountain where they carve the faces of different presidents into the mountain. Both George Washington and Abraham Lincoln are there. So here are those familiar faces in the orange circles. Here's George Washington, and then here's Abe Lincoln. How cool is it that you get to have your face carved into a mountain? Now lastly, did you know that each year in February, we get off a day of school to celebrate these two presidents along with all the other ones? This special holiday is called President's Day, and today we're gonna take a few minutes to learn a bit more about it. Now that we've learned a little bit about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and where we can find their faces, we are now gonna learn about the holiday 
that we use to celebrate them. It's called President's Day. In your learning packet, you have a great reading about President's Day. You also have a few questions about the holiday. Now, we're not going to do the reading here today, but we're going to watch a short video from Discovery to find out even more information about this holiday. While you watch, I want you to think about why we celebrate past presidents like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Let's try to think about what makes them so special. In its more than 200 year history, the United States of America has had many successful presidents. We honor them every year on President's Day. The idea for President's Day started in the 1880s when the birthday of George Washington, the first president of the United States, began to be celebrated as a national holiday. Since it was celebrated on Washington's actual birthday, February 22nd, it was simply called Washington's Birthday. The modern history of President's Day really began in 1968 when the United States Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Bill. This act rearranged the dates of many holidays so that they always happened on a Monday. Congress did this so that working men and women would have several long holiday weekends spread throughout the year. The new policy meant that Washington's birthday would be celebrated on the third Monday of February. At the time, it was also suggested that Washington's birthday be renamed President's Day in recognition of the birthdays of both President Washington and President Abraham Lincoln, since their birthdays are only 10 days apart. Congress did not accept the name change. However, this didn't seem to matter, because when the holiday officially went into effect in 1971, President's Day became the commonly accepted name. While we celebrate all presidents on President's Day, the holiday focuses on the accomplishments of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Washington was the commander-in-chief for the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War, helped shape the United States Constitution, and in the process became known as the father of his country. Lincoln led the United States through the Civil War between 1861 and 1865, preserved the union of the states between the North and the South, and issued the Emancipation Proclamation that led to the end of slavery. All over America, communities celebrate President's Day with ceremonies, parades, and reenactments. It is a time to honor the contributions of all presidents to the advancement, betterment, and prosperity of our great country. Now let's ask some students your age what they think about this holiday and what it means to them. Americans honor the presidents on President's Day, and we're honoring them by showing our gratitude for their achievements. Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, they both did great things to change and make this great, great country where we could be free and do anything. We learn about them in school, in history, and social studies. On Mount Rushmore, they have carved four presidents, and they each have their own libraries. A lot of children in their classrooms do activities to really think about what our presidents really meant back then. Dressing up as costumes, doing reports on them. We used to dress in like red, white, or blue. And we have the day to remember our presidents. The original uh, meaning of President's Day was to celebrate George Washington. Um, his birthday and like what he did for America. And then it still changed to all presidents. George Washington, um, he was a general in the Revolutionary War. Talked to many people about making it a free country, standing apart from England. And once they became free from Great Britain, they thought that there was no better person to lead this country than the general who helped them fight. He kind of formed the basis of America. He made a lot of choices that were important for our world now. Abraham Lincoln, he stopped slavery. Slavery was considered a wrong thing 
in the North, but in the South, everyone thought slavery was a good thing. So it was a fight of the U.S., one half of the U.S. and another half. And they kept battling, and finally the North became victors because of how much he helped them out and how much hope he gave to them. It's important because if it weren't for them, we might still be a divided country instead of a whole country that works together. If I would want someone to be a good leader in that country, they would like being caring, helpful. They need to be loyal. They need to be honest. And they need to be trustworthy. I think they need to have respect for others because they may think it might be good for them, but they also need to know it's good for others. You have to have like faith in yourself too, and you have to be like hopeful. You have to like be inspiring and stuff to bring people together into one whole country. A leader stands up for people when there are problems. Like, it's not just like your everyday problem. It's actually like big, 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 big problems. They like just fight for their rights. If you have perseverance and something's bad, you can keep working at it and then you could overcome it. So I think a good president has a lot of perseverance. Now that we have watched a video about President's Day, take a few minutes in your remote learning packet to respond to our prompts. If you don't have your learning packet just yet, no problems. You can just write your answers on a piece of paper. Our first question, or our first prompt, is why do we celebrate George Washington and Abraham Lincoln? Think about what made them so special as you were watching the video. Then, I want you to list at least two other facts, or true pieces of information, you learned about President's Day. Now remember, if you need it, more information about President's Day can be found in the reading in your packet. Our holidays aren't just for presidents. There are other people in the history of the United States who have made huge impacts for us. This is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. There's a picture of him up top speaking, and over here there's a portrait of him. You may recognize him. Dr. King is a very special person from our past. Dr. King lived in a time when people were treated differently because of the color of their skin. It was not fair at all. Dr. King wanted to change these unfair laws through very peaceful ways. He led people on marches and gave speeches about his beliefs. He was an inspirational leader who helped lead the civil rights movement. His goal was to have freedom and equality for all people. After he died, people wanted to honor Dr. King for the work he did. In 1986, the United States celebrated the first Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Let's learn a bit more about Dr. King by watching this short video about him and his holiday. After the video, we're going to answer a few questions about Dr. King. While you watch, think about why we honor Dr. King with his own holiday. All right, are you ready? Let's watch. Everybody can be great, because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics and physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. Every year, on the third Monday of January, 
people across the United States honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. by volunteering in their communities. Dr. King dedicated his life to working for tolerance, equality, and freedom for all Americans. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 15, 1929. He is best known as a civil rights activist who spoke out against segregation and unequal treatment based on a person's race. As a young preacher, Dr. King helped found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, a group that used peaceful protests to enact change. Dr. King and the SCLC participated in many of the biggest events of the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 60s, including the Montgomery Bus Boycott, the Selma to Montgomery Marches in Alabama, and the March on Washington. These events raised awareness of racial inequality in the United States and ended many segregation practices. It was at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963 where Dr. King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech, which continues to inspire those who work for freedom and equality to this day. The March on Washington helped spark the passing of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This law banned discrimination and segregation based on race, color, religion, sex, and country of origin. Martin Luther King Jr. was a charismatic leader who inspired people from all around the world by speaking out against the moral errors of segregation. He and other civil rights activists spurred real positive change in the lives of millions of African Americans. In 1964, Dr. King was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his leadership and commitment to the American Civil Rights Movement. The first Martin Luther King Jr. Day was celebrated three years later on January 20, 1986. Today, we honor a great man who had a dream that we would all live together peacefully and be judged by the content of our character rather than the color of our skin. A man who asked all Americans to work together to solve the nation's problems. As Dr. King famously asked, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Now that we have watched a video about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., take a few moments in your remote learning packet to respond to our two prompts. If you don't have your learning packet just yet, you can write your answers on a piece of paper. Prompt number one, why do we honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? And our second prompt, complete the sentence, I can make the world a better place by, and you just fill in the rest. Remember, if you need it, more information can be found out about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. using the reading in your packet. Take a few minutes to complete these prompts. Today, we have talked about some amazing people and the holidays we have to celebrate them. For our last activity, which can be found in your learning packet, I want you to think about one person who you believe deserves their very own holiday. It could be someone in your family or anyone that you feel is very special and has made a contribution to you or your family or our country. Who would that person be? Then, in two sentences, describe or write about why he or she deserves their own holiday. I cannot wait to see what you write. All right, we're all finished. But before we say we are officially finished, let's go back to our objective today. We said that we were gonna examine the contributions of people past and present in order to describe why the United States honors different individuals through various holidays. 
We looked at different presidents and the contributions they made to our country. We've also looked at other individuals like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And we've looked at the holidays we use to celebrate them. I would say today is a job well done. Congratulations on finishing social studies for this week. We look forward to seeing you next week as we look forward to episode three in our social studies for grade one.